Hi, this is Brett from srmoto.com. Wanted to give a quick update on our 2008 Suzuki DRZ 400 SM project bike. Uh, it's been a while since we updated everybody on, on what we've done. We've, we've done quite a few things to it over the summer. Got it in a uh, configuration now that I'm pretty pleased with. It's dialed in pretty nicely, a lot of fun to ride. Um, can't really think of much else we'll do to it. I mean, I, like I said, I think it's it's pretty well set up the way we've got it. Um, just wanted to mention before I start going over everything we've done to it, um, this is a 2008 DRZ 400 SM model. It's a Supermoto model. Um, all the parts that I'll talk about here in this video are also going to be applicable to the DRC 4, DRZ 400 S model, which is the dual sport model. Uh, you know, these bikes are, the SM and the S model are very similar aside from, you know, the wheels and tires, the front brakes. Other than that, they're virtually identical bikes. So anything I talk about here will work on a DRZ 400S or the SM model. Um, and that would include all the way up through the 2015 model year. Even though this is an 08, they're virtually unchanged aside from, you know, the graphics and the color of the plastics maybe they're, you know, the, these are the same bikes as the 2015 models. Um, also mentioned here too, our website, um, our blog website is srmoto.com. That's where you can get, you know, information, uh, you know, about the bikes in general, blog posting, stuff like that. It also links over to our online store, which is soloracer.com forward slash dual sport parts dot html uh, so you can get to us uh, on either of those websites um, and all the parts that i talk about in this video are available for sale on our um, online store um, i'll get started here talk a little bit about the performance package that we've got on the bike we do have a yoshimura rs2 performance exhaust package on the bike um, I think this is probably my favorite exhaust system for these bikes. Uh, we've had the FMF Q4 and the Q4 with the power bomb header on the bike. I like that exhaust system, but I think I like the Yoshimura a little bit better. Um, we're running the, the carbon version of the exhaust system, which has the carbon fiber muffler and the stainless steel header pipe. Uh, the same system is available with an aluminum muffler. Uh, with the stainless steel header pipe as well. Um, you know, a lot of the, the Supermoto guys seem to run the carbon fiber setup, uh, which is why we did it on our bike. Um, if you're doing a lot of off-road riding, have the, the S model, you might want to go with the aluminum version of this system. It's probably a little bit more durable for off-road riding. Um, so, so basically what this, this Yoshimura RS2 performance package consists of is the complete exhaust system you see here, the full exhaust, which is the muffler, the header pipe, and everything. One of the nice little features of the Yoshimura RS2 is the, the heat shield that they give you for the, for the header pipe. Kind of a nice feature. You don't see that a lot on exhaust systems these days, um, but this one does have it. Uh, fit and finish on the bike is, is excellent. Really simple to install. Um, fits the bike great. Looks great on the bike. I mean, I really like the look of it sounds really good it's not really loud like a lot of exhaust systems are i mean it's going to be louder than stock but but it's to me about the perfect sound level um you know not too loud but loud enough so it sounds good um and like i said the fit and finish is great it just just the way it fits the bike is kind of tells you the the quality level of the yoshimura stuff and aside from the full exhaust system, uh, as part of that performance package, we're, we've got the DynoJet jet kit installed. We jetted the carburetor with the DynoJet jet kit, uh, which is pretty much a must if you do this to the bike. You've got you to gotta rejet the carburetor. Um, we've also got a no-toil air filter installed uh, as, as part of the package. Um, and then we've done the 3x3 three three airbox mod to, to open up the airbox a little bit more. Pretty standard stuff for these bikes. Uh, makes the bike run a lot better, sound a lot better. Just, just you know, I can't 
can't recommend this system enough for these bikes. Um, and that's pretty much all we've done to it from a performance standpoint. I mean, that's all I think I need to do. It, the bike feels a lot torquier. Uh, it's a lot more fun to ride. And, and, you know, I think, like I mentioned earlier, I think this is about my favorite exhaust system for these bikes. Okay, now I'll talk a little bit about the, the tail light and turn signals that we have installed on the bike. Uh, we've got, you know, we've replaced the big ugly stock tail light assembly with, with something a lot nicer looking. Uh, this is a DRC edge tail light kit, um, which consists of the tail light itself and then the mounting bracket for the license plate. Bolts right onto the subframe of the bike, no modifications required or anything. Um, really cleans up the, the look of the bike. I mean, looks much better. Probably drops, actually drops a couple pounds off the, the stock tail light assembly. Bolted to the side of the tail light, we've got DRC Type 601 LED turn signals. And what we're running here is a smoke tail light lens with the smoke Type 601 LED turn signals. You can also get the tail light lens in red if you want that um, and then you can get the LED turn signals in either smoke or they can also come in an orange and an orange amber color um, and I, I will also mention that inside this tail light we've also installed a 12 o'clock labs edge 2 processor upgrade board so it's, it's an upgraded LED board for the tail light I'll kind of go over the features of that here in a second um, let me turn the key on here to kind of demonstrate this real quick. So that's the, uh, oops, I had the turn signals on there. Um, that's what the, the taillight running light looks like. And, and again, we have that LED upgrade board inside, installed inside the taillight. So what you get with that upgrade board is a little bit brighter running light than the standard edge taillight and a little bit brighter brake light as well. That's a couple of the features um, of it. Also, I'll try to demonstrate this. One of the other features is this safety brake pulsing, they call it. When you hit your brakes, it'll pulse the brake light a couple times. So that's another feature of the, that 12 o'clock labs LED upgrade board. Um, the, D, the standard DRC edge tail light, you know, works fine on these bikes. A lot of people just install that with the LED turn signals. Uh, but if you're looking for something a little bit brighter, you know, with that safety brake pulsing, that 12 o'clock labs upgrade board is kind of a nice upgrade for you. Um, so that's what we've got on the rear of the bike. And, and as you can tell here too, on the bottom of that DRC edge tail light, there is a license plate light to illuminate your license plate. Um, so that's the rear of the bike. Uh, up front, we've done something here a little different. We're, we're running our Zeta Armor handguard package. A lot of people will do handguards on these bikes. Um, and what we've done is the Zeta Armor handguards with the integrated LED turn signals. And you'll see there's right there, I'll kind of turn those on in a second, but um, there's LED turn signals built into the plastic protector of the handguard. Kind of show you how that works. There you go. So you can see the LED turn signals flash there. So instead of the typical LED turn signals bolted to the upper triple clamps, which is where the stock turn signals are, they're built into the handguards. Nice clean look, real popular on these supermotos as well as the dual sport bikes. While I'm up here, I'll kind of talk about these, these Zeta Armor handguards. Um, they come in a couple different sizes, first of all. There's two different sizes. There's a 7 8 inch size and a 1 and one an 8 inch size. And what that, that, that basically is, is the size of your handlebars. The, the Supermotos, at least 08 and up, I believe, I'm not sure if all the Supermotos had one and an eighth inch handlebars, but these have oversized handlebars. 
Um, so if you're gonna order hand guards for your Supermoto uh, DRZ 400 SM, you'll wanna go with the Zeta Armor hand guards in the one and an eighth inch size. If you have a standard DRZ 400 S with the stock handlebars, those to my knowledge have seven eighths inch handlebars. So you wanna go with the seven eighths inch size. And if you've ordered aftermarket bars, you'll basically need to know the size of the bars. Um, and basically the way they install is they insert into the, to the bar end here. And then on the inboard part, normally there's gonna be a clamp here that just attaches the hand, bar, hand guard to the handlebar. Um, and that's actually the, the, where the size comes into play. It's either seven eighths inch here or one and an eighth inch. We're running you know, the one and eighth inch stock bars. So normally you, what the hand guard package comes with is clamps here, but we're doing this a little different. We've got an optional part installed here. We've got the Zeta upper triple clamp handguard mounts installed and what that is it's just an alternative way to install the inboard part of the handguards it bolts them to the upper triple clamps gives you a little bit sturdier way to mount the handguards to the bike not not mandatory to do it that way but that's just the way we've done it you know i'd say 75 percent of the people will just clamp the inboard part of the handguard to the handlebar right around there uh, but if you want something a little bit sturdier, that optional part is available. Zeta upper triple clamp mount for hand guards. Um, attaches to the side mount part of the upper triple clamps. And then, as you can see there, it's bolted to the hand guard. So that's how the, the aluminum part of the hand guard is mounted. It's mounted either to the upper triple clamp or to the handlebar there. And then it's inserted into the bar end there. So that's the aluminum part of the handguard. And those are available in a couple different colors. We're running the blue, the anodized blue, which is really popular, uh, especially for the newer Supermoto bikes because they've got the blue wheels and everything. Um, the DRZ 400 SM, I believe the 13 and 14 model year have blue wheels. A lot of guys seem to order these blue anodized handguards. You can also get them in black or titanium silver or red. They come in a couple different colors. Um, and that's all you can choose that when you order the Zeta armor handguard package You can choose the color and the size and everything the other part of the handguard itself is this white plastic protector It's called a Zeta XC protector comes in a couple different colors as well We're running the white ones here. You can get them in black. You can get them in blue You can get them in red. You can get them in yellow Come in a bunch of different colors. You can either get just the regular plastic protectors themselves or you can get the ones we have here that have those built-in LED turn signals. Uh, the, the ones with just the, the handguard package with just the plastic protector, obviously a little bit less expensive. It adds like $37 or so if you want the LED turn signals. And the LED turn signals will come with all the wiring. You can see the wires there. They run um, down the edge of the handguard and then they go up behind the headlight trial and that's where they plug in um, to the wiring harness on the bike. Um, I'll, I'll mention one other thing too. Uh, normally when you install LED turn signals on a motorcycle, they're gonna flash about twice as fast as your stock turn signals do. As you can see, ours here are flashing about the normal speed that the, that the stock turn signals do. And that's because we've installed the 12 o'clock labs fixed rate turn signal flasher on the bike. That's another part we have available on the website. Uh, it, you just need one of them for the bike. It installs up under the headlight shroud and it will correct the flash rate for both the, the front and rear turn signals. Again, it's called a 12 o'clock labs fixed rate turn signal flasher. So again, that's the lighting on the bike. Uh, we've got the Zeta Armor Zeta Armor handguard package with the optional LED turn signals installed on the front. And then at the back of the bike, we are running a DRC edge taillight kit with DRC type 601 LED turn signals. And then we've got the optional 12 o'clock labs edge two processor upgrade board installed inside the, the taillight itself. Okay, so that's it for the lighting on the bike. Uh, go over a couple other things. Um, foot pegs. We have replaced the stock foot pegs with 
our DRC Motard foot pegs or DRC Supermoto foot pegs. These are a direct bolt-on replacement for the stock foot pegs. Um, really popular for these bikes. I can't help but recommend these way better than the stock foot pegs. Stock foot pegs, at least the ones on our bike, were very small and they had like a rubber insert in them. Just didn't work out very well. These are going to give you a wider platform to, to stand on. Uh, a little bit more grip because they've got, you know, uh, three rows of teeth. And then they also don't stick out quite as far as, as far as the stock foot pegs, which is pretty important on a supermoto bike uh, because if you are taking the corners really low, you don't want to drag your foot pegs. Um, so these don't stick out quite as far. They're also a slightly higher than the stock foot pegs, which helps you know keep them away from the pavement. If they do happen to come in contact with the pavement, you'll see that there is a red plastic uh, protector on the bottom that's designed to slide over the pavement rather than dig into the pavement. Uh, it's also replaceable if you ever, you know, break it or wear it out. Um, I, I've, I've got all these, on all of our supermoto bikes, I have these DRC supermoto foot pegs. They're, in my opinion, probably the best foot pegs available for these bikes if you're doing, you know, supermoto uh, track riding or aggressive street riding. Um, again, it's DRC Motard foot pegs. Uh, they come in black powder coat finish, real durable, and real simple installation on these bikes. They bolt right on, uh, direct replacement for the stock foot pegs. Uh, mention another quick thing too, we are running a uh, clutch and brake lever set that's a little bit shorter than the stock levers, about a half inch to three, three quarters inch shorter levers on both the brake and clutch lever. And this, this allows you to clear the, the, the hand guards a little bit better, but then also it just gives you a little bit better feel, in my opinion, on the levers. I, I, I'm not a big fan of the stock levers on any bike because they're usually really long. And these are kind of a three finger design, so they're just, you know, just much nicer uh, uh, levers overall and very inexpensive. Um, uh, you can find them on the website. Uh, just look for the uh, short clutch and brake lever set under the DRZ parts. Okay, let's go over some of the protection. We're running uh, Z Carbon carbon fiber frame protectors on both sides. Uh, these come in a pair. You get one for the, the left side of the bike and one for the right side of the bike. The one on the right side of the bike also covers the, the rear brake master cylinder too, so it not only protects the frame, but it protects the uh, the brake master, the rear master cylinder as well. Looks really cool on the bike too. I, I like the look of them. Uh, again, it's called a Z Carbon carbon fiber frame guards, and those do come in a pair. You get one for each side. Okay, we're also running. A couple other Z carbon parts on the rear of the bike here. We're running a carbon fiber chain guide, which is this upper piece that replaces that big, ugly, I think it's plastic on the, the factory piece, is a big plastic piece. This is a little bit smaller, it's made out of carbon fiber, looks a lot better. Um, and then down underneath is the, um, the chain guide. This is basically called a chain guide and it's just a carbon fiber replacement for the stock one. Looks a lot better. Bolts right on, no modifications. This is the, the, the heel guard we kind of refer to it as. Chain cover or heel guard, whatever you want to call it. Both of those from Z Carbon. And then up front, we are running light speed carbon fiber engine case guards. Those also come in a pair, one for each side. Give you a little bit extra protection for the side of the bike or side of the engine cases look kind of cool and this one covers the water pump as well again that's called the light speed carbon fiber engine case guards okay a few other things 
front fender got rid of the stock front fender which in my opinion is kind of ugly and it's kind of looks a little bit too big for the bike we're running an acer bis supermoto fender it's a universal fender you do have to drill it to fit the bike but it's real simple to do uh, you just drill four holes in it boom it's on the bike looks a lot better it's got uh, at the rear it's got vents and it's just a little bit smaller overall fender just looks a lot better on the bike comes in a couple different colors you can get them in white black blue yellow you know a couple different colors Again, it's an acer bis supermoto front fender we are also uh, we we did um, we needed to change the coolant in the bike that had been in there for a couple years so at the same time we decided to replace the radiator hoses with a drc radiator hose kit comes in either red or blue we decided to go with red just for a little bit of contrast you get three hoses for the bike you can only see two of them here but you get the lower hose in red and then there's one there and then there's also one up behind the gas tank that's hard to see but it's it's there and here's on the other side you can see one of the hoses i think they not only functional but look cool on the bike and it's a drc radiator hose kit we are running a zeta gas cap in blue they're available in blue or silver looks really cool on the bike replaces the stock gas cap comes with a vent hose and everything the zeta blue matches the the blue hand guards and a lot of the other blue zeta parts looks really cool on the newer uh supermoto bikes that have the blue wheels the zeta gas cap um we are we upgraded the brakes on the bike the brakes on the bike you know leave a little bit they're they're not that great from the factory um ours were you know a little bit old too the fluid hadn't been changed in a while so we decided let's redo the whole brake system so what we did is front and rear stainless steel brake lines and then front and rear pads and we went with galfer stainless steel front and rear brake lines i'll show you the rear here we went with the smoke line which is kind of a smoke colored line you can still see the stainless braided stainless steel through it um, and then we went with the blue fittings uh, a couple you know standard is a clear line and then silver fittings but we decided to jazz things up a little bit went with uh, the the smoke line with the blue fittings so that's the rear brake line real simple installation on the bike it hooks up to the master sil rear master cylinder there and you know real real simple um, on the front of the bike same deal went with the smoke lines and the blue fittings on the caliper so again smoke lines all the way up braided stainless steel with the blue fittings and you can see includes everything you need uh, smoke lines up here and then we got the blue fittings over there as well the brake lines themselves make a huge difference on this bike the feel of the brakes is so much better uh, made a uh, we just did the, the the lines first and you know left the stock pads on and that made a huge di difference in and of itself i mean it was amazing how much better feel you had on the front brake lever as well as the the rear brake pedal as well um, so i can't help but recommend those um, we also did front and rear galfer pads because uh, our stock pads needed replaced anyway, so we did the Galfer pads, which which also make a huge difference. We're still running the stock rotors, but uh, did go with their um, their Kevlar ceramic pads um, front and rear. Again, highly recommended for this bike. The the brakes were not that great, you know, compared to like WR250R or WR250X, for example. You know, from Yamaha, those bikes have excellent brakes front and rear now that we've done this gal for front and rear lines with the pads it, it kind of makes it comparable to the Yamaha's brakes uh, made a huge difference um, tires uh, we got rid of the stock tires obviously and we are running Bridgestone VT003s 
front and rear. It's probably my favorite tire uh, for supermoto bikes. Uh, it's kind of a track day tire that also works well on the street. Provides a ton of grip. Um, can't can't uh, complain about these tires whatsoever. Got them on pretty much all the bikes here. Uh, we're running a 120 70 by 17 up front, which I believe is the stock size. I could be wrong on that, but we, we stuck with the stock sizes front and rear. Um, and then in the rear, 140 70 by 17. Uh, one last thing I'll I'll mention real quick. Uh, it's, as you know, on these supermoto bikes, it's kind of hard to carry stuff around on them. Don't give you a lot of room, so we're running a Wolfman Enduro carry-all number plate bag on the front, and it basically straps to the to the headlight shroud just above the headlight. Um, hooks up to the handlebars in the rear, and then the lower triple clamps up front um, it, plenty of room to carry my smartphone keys wallet stuff like that uh, pretty much everything you need if you're just going out for a for a nice fun ride um, so that's how i carry stuff around on the bike wolfman enduro carry all number plate bag okay that's about it um, again that's our 2008 Suzuki DRZ 400 SM project bike. Uh, you can get more info on the bike and all the parts we've got installed. Uh, you can go to our blog website, which is srmoto.com. Navigate up to the project bike link at the top and navigate down to the DRZ 400 SM. That'll show you all the parts we've got installed on it and link you over to our online store uh, where, where all these bikes parts can be purchased. Uh, that website is soloracer.com forward slash dual sport parts dot html. If you have any questions, uh, shoot us an email, give us a phone call. Uh, we've pretty knowledgeable about these bikes, have installed all these parts ourselves, so we kind of know, know uh, most of the answers to your questions. Uh, and I think that's about it. Again, it's Brett from srmoto.com.